the first step of the journey is of theory and when you are doing the theory of a chapter some part of the theory will be just a review for you some part of the theory will be a repair that means you knew it earlier but you forgot in it so it's getting repaired in your head and some part of the theory will be a new installation you never had you had never heard of that part of the theory in the chapter and of course how much of the chapter's theory will be repair review or new installation will depend on what your starting skills are so all these three obviously for people for whom the new installation is heavy because they don't remember anything from their past school etc they will require a little bit more time to do the theory for somebody for whom the theory is mostly a review he or she can go much faster on that right so you have to identify the time i am just telling you what the work is and then steps 2 and 2b which is comprising of step 2 is basically going through assisted problem solving question banks where you are taking assistance from uh, teachers from people helping you clear doubts and then move to self problem solving i have talked about the number of questions required on every chapter in which you are doing self problem solving but when you go through a self problem solving what will happen is that all the questions that you pick up you will not be able to solve it so if you are defining for example chapter like time split distance if you define that i want to do 400 questions of self problem solving and you pick up a question bank which you are doing self problem solving if this is the number of questions that you see this will be the number of questions that you have been able to solve and in my view the journey of your uh, preparation and the journey of victory over the chapter is being able to self solve this so you don't push this into assisted problem solving but what you do is you keep coming back to the chapter for multiple rounds and that's very important you do a round one on the chapter then when you do a round two of the chapter maybe the 15 days to a month later after finishing round one you redo everything you have done you revise everything that you need to and you complete whatever you have not done and if round two also the situation becomes better from 60% of the questions you are now doing 70 80% of the questions come back to round three one month later what happens is gradually skills seep into your mind any point of time when you do a round in a chapter it will improve your solving skills of the chapter and when your solving skills improve and you allow those solving skills to seep deeper into your mind in one month you are a better solver and a more confident solver when you come back to round 2 and hence questions you could not solve in round 1 will get solved in round 2 by yourself so try to go through round 2 round 3 round 4 and you don't need to get intimidated by so many rounds because individual rounds will keep getting shorter so the first round took around 20 hours on a chapter the second round might be just 8 hours because you're not no longer doing the theory you're no longer solving all the questions by yourself you're just redoing them It means you can just flow chart them you don't need to solve them to the solutions or to the answers you don't need to do any calculations the questions you have been able to solve you just look at them that way and that's the basic process so that's what it will be and the fourth and final step is confirm your skills and after round 2 round 3 round 4 confirm your skills there are two ways in which you confirm your skills one is if you look at the previous year questions are you able to solve them that's the best indicator and the second is uh, you can look at what's happening in your mock tests on that particular chapter topic mm-hmm.